Today, I'm back with another batch of crazy pickups from our card shop this week. Try to catch me howling at tomorrow. That's not something you see every day, but only at trade night. Mr. Trevor Lawrence. How are we doing? Oh this is out of this world. Today is definitely the craziest day ever at a card show. A lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day, so. All right, what's going on YouTube? Card Collection 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today we're back to highlight some more in-shop pickups, but this time we've got some really crazy stuff. A couple cool lots, a lot of variety here, but some really, really nice things. We've actually been able to pick up quite a bit lately. This is just a small sample. Uh, this is an entire two row uh, graded box worth, but we actually ended up picking up about three full boxes worth of stuff, uh, plus an occasional value box here and there. So. A um, lot to uh, lot to get into, but I thought I thought that this would, was really the the highlights of what we were able to pick up. So wanted to show you guys these. Not any particular order, but I think you guys will get a kick out of uh, some of this stuff. Big first game for this guy, Calvin Ridley, Panini one patch auto uh, out of twenty five. Big first game back after a year suspension for gambling, but him and T Law look like uh, they could be a uh, top five duo in the league. Uh, Hunter Green, Allen and Ginner, auto, a really nice. Hank Aaron, this is early tribute. It's like 08? No, 2011. A little bit later. 2011, Hank Aaron, triple bat, auto. Uh, Hutchinson, dual ball patch, auto. Rookie at a 49 from uh, NT. Nice triple here. Carlos Gonzalez, Nolan Arenado, Trevor Story, one of one from Immaculate. 2016. Pretty sick game use patches there. Jackson. Uh, JSN yellow auto out of 75 PSA 10. Otani, even with the uh, UCL tear, no pitching. He uh, will still likely win the MVP. I think the odds are still crazy in his favor, but still one of those guys that sells really, really well wherever you know wherever it's for sale, whether it's in shop, whether it's on our whatnot channel. Uh, it's really uh, he's he's definitely one of the top sellers. Jamar Chase on card rookie auto from Elite at a 125. Uh, Chris Olave. Prism RPA, uh, 21 of 99. Be interesting to see what he does this year with Derek Carr. Uh, Mac Jones actually surprised me. I'm a Pats fan, and I thought the Patriots were going to get their brakes beat off by the Eagles, and it was actually a relatively close game, so um, impressed me a little bit. I think he had over 300 yards, but RPA. Uh, Jackson Holiday. you guys know I'm not the big, you know, not a big baseball guy, but everything I've heard is that this kid is as good as advertised, so... Excited to see what he can do one day. Uh, Drew Jones, yellow lunar crater refractor at a 75. I got all sorts of different parallels these days. Uh, Shevchenko, gold disco out of 10. Gold UFC. Uh, Sam Howe, color wheel from select draft picks last year. Jordan Addison, touchdown in his first game. I think he's going to end up being the clear number two there. Really good tandem, Addison and, and Jay Jettas. Even though they lost, that was surprising. Probably one of the biggest surprises of the week, I think, was the Bucks beating the Vikings at home. Uh, out of 25, uh, Anthony Richardson, orange auto from Bowman Chrome. A couple 10s here, Herbert and Joe Burrow. Actually, both lost week one. Two of the probably top five QBs in the league, both lost in week one. Uh, little Kobe, 2013 Pinnacle Jam Fest, PSA 10. And then a Dan Marino. Not the biggest card in the world, but definitely a very liquid card. Always people after the Hall of Fame rookies and graded format. All right, lots to get into. Starting with the downtown. You guys know everybody likes downtowns, kabooms, color blasts. So no exception here. Ray Lewis. Christian Watson. Packers look good, and they didn't even have Watson. Uh, it's out of 99. I think Romeo Dubes had like two touchdowns. Uh, Brian Branch. Picks. Was, it, was he the one with the pick six? I feel like he was the one that had the pick six. Kadarius Tony, Yikes. Yikes. Jalen Carter. This guy, I, I've said it before. I picked him on Card Talk to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. This dude's a problem. He fell in the draft um, for some off-the-field stuff, but he's 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 the real deal. Reminds me of Aaron Donald. Just can take over a game. Bijan 101, another guy that dominated that touchdown run was crazy. Uh, Staubach out of 99, Ken Cloth. Stroud didn't look terrible. They're not very good, but I don't think Stroud looked awful. 
we'll see how he progresses throughout the year. I think that's what I'm most interested in. Texans aren't going to be very good. Uh, crunch time, Joey B. I think those are case hits. Staubach at 25, and then a Joe Burrow instant impact jersey. All right. Oh, Clay Thompson, Prism, PSA 10. First year Prism, 2012. Uh, Burrow, red, white, and blue, 9. Uh, T-Law, Optic, Blue, Hyper, 9. And a Bronze, 9. So, uh, a couple 9s there and one ten. Lamar, St. Glass. Speaking of guys, it didn't look very good. I was surprised. Lamar's numbers were not very good week one. Let's see if he bounces back. Uh, more T-Law. You guys know how I feel about T-Law. Solid win week one. A little Prism Black Silver. Nick Chubb, 100-some yards for the Browns as they ran over the Bengals. Uh, Marcus Allen, auto out of 10. Nice Quentin Johnston, three-color RPA out of 99. And then a really sick Jalen Hyatt, one of 10. Capital One Bull Patch Auto. More downtowns. Peterson, Jalen Hurts, RPA. I mean, sick patch out of 199. Sauce Gardner, 9-5. Gold, uh, mythical from Optic, 10 of 10. I'm excited for that. I'm going to... What do you guys think is going to win? I'm torn. I think the Bills are going to be really good, but I really think the Jets are going to be good. And it pains me to say that, but there's a lot of talent on that Jets team. If you guys watch Hard Knocks, I thought it was pretty good, but definitely looks like they're going to they're gonna win some games. Olave out of 99, PSA 10, and then a Deshaun Watson, who actually looked pretty good uh, out of 35. Uh, select white club level, 9-5. Obviously growing up in Columbus, so all you really get to see these days is Browns and Bengals games, so... When they play each other, you definitely get to watch it. That's for sure. All right, Jamar Chase out of 49. Uh, is that club level? Or, I said club level. It's not club level. It's sweet level. Sorry. Chase Laser 10. Uh, more Joe Burrow 9s. There's an Optic Hollow 9. Mechie RPA out of 25. I didn't get to see if he did much. I'd be curious about that. I think he could be okay. LE 10. Sights on September. Otani uh, Technicolor out of 99. Christian Okoye, I was, when I saw this, I got excited. I was like, I was hoping it would be like Priest Holmes, Marcus Allen, somebody on the other side, but it's not. Just playing out of 100. I don't understand the, is this the passing the torch? Yeah, passing the torch. I never understood the passing the torch with just one person. Again, continuing on the, con, uh, the conversation of trying to diversify and have a bunch of different variety. How about a uh, Carl Edwards press pass? Well, it's Golato. Uh, Mahomes elements out of 79. More press pass, Kevin Harvick. This card was so big at one point, man. When Clay Matthews was like dominating, this card was a big card. Contenders, Ricky Otto from 09. Jordan Love, actually not too bad. Uh, Larry Fitz, rookie uh, out of 199. Pittman Jr. out of 25. I think he had like a touchdown. I think MBJ scored. Uh, Barry Sanders, and then uh, a Blue Jacket, I, a former Blue Jacket player I don't really like. He was one of those guys that was like left when uh, Panarin and Bob and a lot of those guys had left. And I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe he'll stay and he'll be the face of the franchise. And he's like, nah, I went out. They did get line A for him. And I obviously like line A. Patch is sick, but not, not the biggest PLD guy. Uh, Ortiz Auto to 25 Stadium Club Chrome. One of the best photos in all of cards. Uh, Sean Alexander, 5 of 5. Zay Flowers, uh, 1 of 10. He actually didn't look terrible. Uh, out of 49, more Bijan. Easy seller. He sells really well for us right now. And then Alec Pierce, gold out of 10. Just can't go wrong with gold. So, nice little batch of uh, some raw stuff there. All right, what else? This is where uh, some of the really, really cool stuff is. I know for sure it's on the bottom of this pile. Uh, Sam Howell, RPA, out of 99. Got the win. Uh, Kenny Pickett did not get the win. That was... Is, uh, what do you guys think? The Steelers that bad or the Niners that good? Which one would you credit it more to? If you had to pick one, you're picking the Steelers are really, really bad or the Niners are really, really good. I'm probably leaning more towards the Niners are really good, but that was a that was a that was a whooping. Bo Jackson on card out of 15. More Jordan Addison, an easy seller right now. Uh, it's out of 100 RPA. Another RPA, Rashawn Johnson uh, out of 249. I needed like a. DJ Moore touchdown from Justin Fields in fantasy when they were on like the two yard. It was like first and goal in the two or second and goal in the two. And they gave this dude the ball. And I was like, no, please no. Uh, sure enough, you know, it was always next year for my fantasy teams. But Rashawn Johnson, running back from uh, Texas, 
Some of these Jersey Fusions, uh, Duel of Dr. J at a 50 and a Kobe Quad at a 50. So a couple of those. Johnny Manziel, Money Manziel. Some of his stuff jumped after the documentary. Uh, here's Okay, here we go. You got a Herbert Love at a 75 and then some really cool stuff. Herbert RPA, that's numbered uh, at a 35, 16 of 35. Then you got another nice one. Jalen Hurts Contenders Optic, Rookie Auto. Then you've got a Jalen Hurts Panini 1, sick, sick patch auto. It's number, yeah, out of 99. Kind of blends in with his jersey, couldn't see it. And then a Joe Burrow out of 50 elements. Take this off, it's super scratched up. I don't want the card to go flying. Elements, rookie auto out of 50. And then this thing, super sick, uh, 14 of 15. Check out the patch on that. Joe Burrow, Rookie Elements, Patch Auto out of 15. And then Jalen Hurts, uh, Panini 1 on Card Auto out of 99. And then one of, definitely one of my favorite pickups, uh, an Akuda Super Bowl Ticket Auto. Uh, this is kind of like a toss in on the deal. The guy was very favorable. Um, knew that he, this would be a cool card for my PC. Uh, so it was definitely very favorable here. So really appreciated that. But although he's not there anymore, um, big Jeff Akuda guy. I still think he's going to be good. I do, I do like, like Jeff a lot. Uh, Curry rookie, just can't go wrong there. These are supposed to be like shorter print than case hits. Like we've done a few breaks and these are not in every case, uh, but they don't sell like that. Like I think the last T-Law only did like 25 bucks. So I thought that was kind of surprising. Uh, Arenado Emerald 10 Waddle. Speaking of teams that looked really good, especially two and or uh, two and Tyreek, man, crazy. Uh, Desmond Ritter out of 25 team slogan, uh, Soto Gypsy Queen, and then a CC Sabathia 101 auto. I think this is archives. Yeah, it's archive signature series edition. 810. Not an ideal grade. All right, couple pause left. Shout out to those of you that made it this far. If you have not already subscribed, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoy these and want to see more of what we're picking up in shop. Maybe a little behind the scenes stuff like that. Make sure you guys drop a like if you do not mind. All right, finishing it up here. We've got this in one more pile. A couple of uh, cheap Joe Burrows. More Christian Watson. Just one of those guys that sells really, really well. Tebow, Color Wheel, Quentin Johnston Auto, Kittle Black 5 of 5. Really nice. Garrett Wilson, Jumbo Rookie Patch. Uh, Brock Purdy, Prism Tricolor, red, white, and blue. Uh, a couple Steph PSA 10s. Panarin, some more Blue Jackets guys that left us. Unfortunately, PLD, SP Authentic, and Panarin 10, AR15101. This is the pre-production from Leaf. Good-looking card. I like the uh, crystal white there. Good-looking parallel, I, I think. And you got the Kobe white from the Kobe packs a few years ago. Uh, I believe these are from the packs when Kobe had passed away and Panini couldn't, ref couldn't fulfill all the redemptions. They made Kobe packs. Uh, for 1920 Mosaic Basketball. So they're numbered at a 24 and I think 8. Um, really big at the time, especially when Zion and Jaw were huge. Uh, Barkley Auto, 1 of 3, PSA 9 camo. Tua Shimmer at a 25. Uh, Walker Kessler, RPA. Tyree Kill, 2 of 3. Probably not bad timing on those two right there. Kenny Pickett Marble, 4 of 5. Olave Black Pandora at a 25. Rookie Kings. Jokic, Fireworks, Prism, Mojo, uh, 22 of 25. Caitlin Clark, Baller, uh, Refractor, Nick Chubb, Contenders Optic out of 22. And my guy, Garrett Wilson, Flux, 17 of 25, his old jersey number. He's actually back to five this year, which is what he wore at Ohio State. All right, Mike Evans, Patch, uh, 3 of 15. Derrick Henry, Blue Fluorescent out of 15. T-Law Auto out of 99. Uh, Nick Bosa, Rookie Auto out of 199. Finally got paid. Saw a graphic the other day. It was like a uh, highest paid, or a tweet the other day. It was like highest paid defensive player and offensive player all time are Buckeyes. And I know that gets LSU fans fired up because Joe Burrow won a national title there. But Joe Burrow did graduate from Ohio State. He is an Ohio State alum. Um, so it's cool to see Joe Burrow and Nick Bosa both get paid. Jonathan India, Jared, Jared Kalinick, Rookie Auto, and then an easy... Joey B, PSA 10. Last but not least, Franz, uh, is it Wagner? 
RPA and a 99 from Noir. Kaminga, real nice penmanship there at 99. Uh, a couple vintage, again, just on that, uh, always trying to have a little something of everything. Mantle, 67 and 68, 25 and 35. Three, it's crazy. These are one point apart. And look how much better the 3 5 looks than the 2 5. I mean, 2 5's got markings all around it. Crappy corners. Like, doesn't look very good. This card, corners are. They're not amazing. Those are not those are not bad, but they're not they're definitely not ideal. Bottom one's pretty rough. Uh, I guess the back's got a little bit of paper loss. But definitely presents itself a lot better. This card looks rough compared to this one, so it's kind of crazy how the grading scale works. Uh, it's a reprint. It says unlicensed trading card. It's a reprint of uh, Pete Rose, but it's autographed and authenticated. Najee Optic Auto out of 35. Sean O'Malley Goodwin Champions uh, in person, authentic autograph. And then some sauce to end it. Uh, out of 175, clearly Donner. So again, just a small sample. Uh, you guys know we're always picking stuff up. Uh, buy a lot on email, a lot through the mail, a lot of shows, the shop. So really trying to always pick up some stuff. So uh, yeah, another uh, successful few days in shop. Again, if you want to see more of these, drop a comment, let us know. Would always love the feedback. Appreciate those of you that like, subscribe, etc. But stay tuned, guys. More cool card content coming very soon. But... That's all I got for now, guys. Peace.